Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Barbados has cut ties with the British monarch and is now a republic. Greetings in the name of the Most High, Emperor Haile Selassie I the First. Greetings, you greetings. You know I'm Rastafari, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, bless, 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 no curse. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Bruce, man. Man. how you guys doing out there? We're having a good time, man. We're running for Fort Lauderdale Beach. And we're going to have a great relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, finally, Barbados has cut ties with the British monarch. After 400 years of British rule, much talks and several administration later, Barbados have completely cut ties with the Queen of England, Elizabeth II, and the monarch. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to give Barbados a great round of applause for such a great moment. As the clock struck midnight, the island transitioned from having a queen of the head of state to a parliamentary republic with Her Excellence, the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, the island's first president at the helm. I, Sandra Prunmela Mason, do swear to be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to the law. So help me God. President Mason proclaimed as she swore in during the historical ceremony held at Hero Square, Bridgeton. Now, her son, Matthew Goodwin, Goodin, I'm sorry, stood proudly holding the Bible as Dame moved to tears while she takes the oath during her first address to Barbados as a republic. The President Mason highlighted the importance of drawing from the lessons granted through the island's 55 years of independence and push that as a country we advance on the new path of republicanism it should underscore that the importance of nation building since independence our hero heroes and our humble citizens our crew and passengers have built an international reputation anchored in the characteristic our nation's value, our stability, and our success, drawing on the lessons of those intervening years, possessing a clear sense of who we are and what we are capable of achieving. In the year 2021, we now turn our vessel's bow towards a new republic. We do this so the, that we may seize the full absence and substance of our sovereignty for decades we have had discourse and debates about the transition of Barbados to a republic today debate and disclosures have become action today we set our compass to a new direction a great by the success of all the last 55 years bowed by the confidence granted from our triumphant and accomplishment she remarked in the Republic of Barbados we must see ourselves as thought leader and change agent actively engaged the different and difficult business of the nation building a nation characterized by courtesy harmony unity opportunity equality economic well-being empowerment and respect for each other's difference president mason added held in the country's capital bridgetown there was a hive of activities despite the pandemic and the protocols. We are proud Barbadians as we are on the outskirt. The outskirt was clad in a swarm of people dressed in blue and yellow, black, proudly waving the flags, cheering as the installation of President Mason con uh, continued. The ceremony was attended by several dignities and Caribbean Prime Minister, including Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, and St. Lucia's, Lucia, Philip J. Perry, and Phyllis Davis of Bahamas, the ambassador and global superstar, Robin Rihanna Fenty, was also attending the late announcement as the next Barbadian national 
hero. Congratulations to Rihanna. The guest of honor was His Highness, Prince of Wales. Prince Charles commended Barbados for, for forging its own path with extraordinary fortitude. Despite the challenges and, and, and troubles the country would have faced, he urged Barbadians to let freedom, justice, and self-determination be their guide as they embark on the new journey as a republic, which he called a point on the continuum of Barbados excellence. So far, the prince, who is said to be the head of the Commonwealth, went on to forge the Barbados and the United Kingdom will continue to have a close and trust partnership as members of the Commonwealth as the Constitution status chain. It is important to me that it should join you, I should join you to reaffirm those things which do not change. For example, that the close and trusted partnership between Barbados and United Kingdom as vital members of the Commonwealth have come commended and determined to defend the values and the, we both cherish and the purpose of the goal we share and the merit communication and the connection between the people of our country to which flow administration and affection, cooperation and opportunity, strength and enrichment us all following the president installation by Chief Justice Patterson Cheltenham she was confirmed the order of freedom of Barbados Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley Chief Justice Patterson Cheltenham Attorney General Day Marshall Chief of Staff of Barbados Defense Force Commander Errington Sheldon and Commissioner Police Richard Boyce took the oath of allegiance to Barbados according to the law instead of to the Queen, her heir and successor. As the Barbados marked the 55th Independence Day on November 30, there was a firework display just before 2 a.m. over the historical Parliament building to commemorate the road to Republic proceeding and signals the dawn of a new Republic in the world right now. Barbados will name, remain named Barbados and not the Republic of Barbados. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari Soldier sending out a great shout out, a congratulations to our sister over there in Barbados, our sister island, Barbadian. I, I want to big up all the Bajan all over the world. I want to give congratulations to Queen of Barbados, Rihanna, the newly appointed national hero, the 11th hero of Barbados. I want to congratulate Mrs. Motley for such a leadership and an example for all the islands to see all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. And I also want to congratulate the new and first president of Barbados, the Dame of the Hour, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a pleasure to see that you know, women are taking such a leadership position in our country, ladies and gentlemen. So, more big up all the people them in the Barbados. More big up the newly appointed hero, 11th national hero, Rihanna. You are going to I want to big up President Mason, the first president of the Republic Island of Barbados. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, more big up. All of the people them in the Barbados because I've just peer, peer good people me know from Barbados. We got my Beijing friend up in New York right now. You know it's Rastafari, right? So, ladies and gentlemen of Deep Roots TV, more want enough to know, say, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Leave your comment. Let me know if Barbados did the right thing by leaving the Queen and joining the Commonwealth. Because from what I know, the Commonwealth is still headed by the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari, so do have deep roots. If you have action, hit that red subscribe button so we can have a great relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, that greetings. Deep roots, yes, season more life, greetings. More joy, and I'm more yes. Hey, deep roots, man. How you guys doing out there? We having a good time, man. We're running for a lot of the